right, back at you with a new review. Now this one is from a company called A Segment, and this is a paid review. They wanted me to check out their brand new rangefinder called the Q9, and we are gonna unbox this baby right about now. Okay, so this is the A Segment Q9. It boasts both flagpole scanning as well as slope adjusted distance. So those are the two things that I always think have to be in any rangefinder. It's gotta have that haptic feedback. I need to press the button and feel that little buzz and know that I'm locked onto the target. And I've gotta have that slope adjusted distance so I know if I'm going uphill, if I need to add a couple extra clubs, or if I'm going downhill, if I need to take a club or two off or hit a 90% swing, whatever the case may be. But this is the A segment. Let's look at what's inside this box. And in a few minutes, we're gonna take it out onto the golf course. All right, so we've got this beautiful little silver and orange. I like this color combo, very modern, by the way. And I like that it's got this little quick lock. What's nice about these, Wade's got this on his Canon, and what's nice about this little feature is that you don't have to keep zipping and unzipping this thing. If you've got it unzipped, you just put your device in there, you quick lock it, and boom, you're off to the next hole. You've got the nice little matching carboner on the back, so if you wanna clip this to your golf bag, to your trolley, uh, to whatever you are using to walk with your clubs, that's really convenient and it seems very strong and durable. I'm pulling at this thing. I always wait, I always like to see if the stitching is gonna break on this thing, but this thing seems really solid. All right, inside the box, before we open up this, let's see what's inside the box. First of all, you've got your directions. As you all know, I do not read directions, so these are going bye-bye. You do have a nice little lens cloth to keep this clean. You've got a USB charger, a USB charger, so now we know that this probably does not take batteries, it takes a USB charge, which is good and bad. It's really good because you don't have to keep changing out batteries all the time, but it's bad if you do not keep your device charged. Although most golf carts these days have a USB charger, so you'll probably be okay, honestly. Um, but USB charging on this device, which I assume lasts probably a couple of weeks. All right, now for the good stuff. Let's give this thing a shot and open up this baby and see what's under the hood. Let me get these boxes out of the way. All right, what I like about this off the bat is it's very small. It reminds me, honestly, of my little Nikon, and I love the portability of that. Sometimes you get these big, giant rangefinders, and they take up a lot of space, but this is really nice. It's got a very nice, kind of soft touch feel to it. Uh, it's got that big blue button, so you, you can't miss where that button is. That's going to be the button that you hit to get the flag. And you've got a secondary button here, which is going to change modes for you. So it's got a range of 665 yards. It has a built-in lithium battery. It does both yards and meters for our friends down under who use meters. It's accurate up to half of a yard, 0.5 yards. It is light, in fact, and it says six ounces on the box. And I'll tell you, it's like a feather in my hand, so that's really nice. Um, one thing I really like about this off the bat is how easy it is to turn this. It has a really nice, smooth turning wheel to get focus. And sometimes that's a really tough thing to turn. Like on my Nikon, it's, I have to like crank that thing, crank that thing, crank that thing. This is really nice and smooth. When you want to change between yards and meters, like this came with meters right out of the box. So in order to change that, what I had to do was when it was in its off mode, I held down the blue button. And at the same time, I hit the middle button and that changed it from yards to meters. So that's kind of cool. All right, and by the way, here is where you charge this device with your little micro USB. Now this is actually the type of cable that you probably already have if you have like a Kindle, an Android phone. This is a very common cable, so nothing too crazy there. You, are, you probably have a couple of these laying around and I'll show you how that charges right there. Nice little satisfying click and boom. Doesn't come with the brick, so you gotta buy your own brick or use the one from your phone. That's totally fine. We've all got a million of those laying around from all the iPhones we've bought or Android devices we've got. 
uh, or you just put this into your fancy schmancy USB uh, power outlet. We just had one of those installed in our house. So at my bedside table, I've got USBs. I don't have those old school plugs anymore, which is really cool. All right, so that's the unboxing of the A segment. We gotta take this thing out on the course and see how she performs and make sure she's accurate. And if she is, this thing would be a heck of a deal, honestly, because at well under $100 to get flagpole locking and to get slope correction, that's a lot of bang for your buck. So let's go check this thing out and see what she can do. All right, I've made it out here to the course to test out the A segment rangefinder. We've got our nice little orange and silver case, which I love. And here is the device. Again, I love that blue button. Uh, so we're gonna actually test this against some distances. I have my normal rangefinder here with me and we'll see which one of these is best. I'm actually gonna see if I can nail the flag. I know the flag's about 485 yards out. I'm gonna see if I can actually get this right now with the A segment. Again, what I love about this is this is a little out of focus. This focus ring on the eyepiece is really, that's probably one of the best ones I've ever seen actually. It's very easy to use. I'm actually gonna see if I can nail the flag. I know the flag's about 485 yards out. I'm gonna see if I can actually get this right now. And I got 473 on the rangefinder, 473. All right, so I'm gonna hit a shot here. We're gonna hit a drive and we're gonna get, get up to, you know, a playable distance here and see how this thing performs. That's big. All right, so I've brought out Old Faithful here. So we're gonna get a reading off of Old Faithful and then we will test it against the A segment to see how this thing performs. Okay, Old Faithful is telling me 259, 259. Let's pull out the A segment and see what we've got with this. There won't be much slope correction because it's a very flat hole, par five here at Carrollwood. 260 is the reading, 260. And there is no adjustment for slope, both 260.8 actually, if you want to be spot on accurate, 260.8. Now this is actually reading 260, so this is spot on. I've got to say, I don't know if you can hear it, but when this thing locks onto the flag, it's like a bzz, bzz, it's a double, kind of a double buzz. Man, that works good. All right, I'm just gonna be laying up with a hybrid here. Just try to get into position so I can maybe take a little chip and a putt for a birdie would be nice. It's really wet out here. I pulled it a little left, actually hit the cart path. But hey, this is a real world test. That's what happens in the real world. Let's go play the next shot. So we actually got kind of lucky here. Uh, looks like we're only about 65 yards from the pin from here. I'm just eyeballing it. We'll try out Old Faithful and see what she says. Okay, 75 yards to the flag from Old Faithful. Let's give the A segment a shot here. And I'm locking on at 74.9, which is dead on, with the slope adjustment 72.3. Pretty good shot. All right, now all we gotta do is make a putt. And that's when the real Old Faithful comes out. Let's do this. All right, so if you're playing at home, here's the deal. If I make this putt, you subscribe to the channel. I'll keep bringing you more awesome golf tech reviews like this one, as well as a few travel vlogs. Would love to have you along for the ride. But let's make this putt. I promise you that was the first try. All right, thanks so much for tuning in today to check out the A segment. This is an incredible golf GPS rangefinder, and what's more, I really love the price. Honestly, it performed very, very, very admirably out here. I've got to give this thing a 4.5. 
I think I would have liked a few more features, maybe a few different modes, but apart from that, this is nearly the perfect device. And for the price, I gotta say, for the price, it is a bargain at around $70, $80 on Amazon. You can have this device, whereas you're paying $150 and up, maybe as much as $200 for the similar features. So it's a very cool economical package that you need to check out. I'll put the link down below to this product. I hope you'll give it a try. And I'll see you back here next week on another edition of Let's Play Through.